Now Magnus continuing to harass that queen. And Nakamura, he sacrifices his queen, but we're going to see a knight fork. The black knight attacking the king, attacking the queen. Now Nakamura, two pieces up, a knight and a bishop. Magnus, he's going to continue. He's playing on. The rook attacks the black bishop, but we see on Magnus's face, he's shaking his head. He knows he's, it's over now. He's lost. Oh. Black simply has a knight and a bishop. White's pawns are not going to suffice. Is it all over now? Yeah, uh, Magnus just going through the motions. The pawns are going to start dropping off the board. Two pieces, it's just too much. Even if White was able to trade the rooks, it would still be game over. A knight and bishop can give checkmate together. Magnus just hoping for a last-minute blunder now, pushing mm. his pawns, but it's not going to happen. No. Really nice tactic there by Nakamura to trade the queens. That was uh, beautifully done and also done with not so much time. I mean, that was very, very impressive. And, uh, yeah, I agree with David. It is absolutely hopeless here. I mean, the bishop and the knight can easily pick off those two corner pawns that white has. And even with the trade of rooks, the position is still a very elementary checkmate. I mean, most people practice these uh, checkmating patterns. Yeah, the only hope for white remaining is that black will have to give up a knight or a bishop for that side, that pawn. But Nakamura, so tricky, retreats the knight, attacking white's pawn. If that pawn advances, then the black knight will jump to the square the pawn currently stands on, and that would be a fork. That would be a check to the white king, and it would also attack white's rook. And I don't think there's any way for Magnus to keep his pawn there, his A pawn, and without it, it's pretty much game over. He gives a check instead. He's going to drop his rook back one square to defend his pawn from the side. Uh, the rook will just come over and uh, you can see it's going to be rounded off. And uh, do you think uh, Magnus is going to make Hikaru play this uh, the whole no, end game? He loses, he blunders his rook to another knight fork. <laughs> and there we go. Magnus Carlsen resigns.